and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. Today we're going to be talking about unclaimed property in Kansas. It's a great topic. We're here today at Johnson County Community College, and we thank them for letting us be here. We're here with Kansas State Treasurer Ron Estes. Thanks a lot for being here. Well, thank you, Nancy. So this is a fun topic to talk about, right? Unclaimed property? It really is. As, as an elected official, it's great to be able to give people their money back. And, and not only is this money, this is money that, that you're finding that somehow nobody else found. So you have to feel pretty good about that. that. That's right. I mean, it could be anything from an unclaimed property. It could be a, a refund, could be a deposit, could be a, an old paycheck from when you moved and, and uh, left from an old job. It could be a safe deposit box. So, so let's talk about how this happened. I mean, you, the state's going to receive title to this, you know, large amount of, of saving bonds. And you know, how, how did this whole thing happen? Right. Well, well, Kansas is really the first state in the country to ever go through this process yeah. and, and, and have success. Basically, what we've done is over the years is as we've received safe deposit boxes, savings bonds were part of that, the contents of those safe deposit boxes. And the, the U.S. Treasury has resisted any other state's efforts to actually turn that over to their unclaimed property process, saying that the state law or, or the federal rules and regs and laws didn't allow them to, uh, to actually take that. Well, in Kansas, we have a unique law that actually allows us to take title as part of the state treasurer. And so we actually went through the process. We got a Kansas district court to uh, actually issue us the title, going through the process, giving some due notice and making sure that we followed all the legal steps. And uh, last fall, the U.S. Treasury awarded us over $860,000 uh, in unclaimed uh, U.S. savings bonds. And so we're actually now, uh, we, we have that available as, as the first in the country, and other states are now following Kansas's lead. So do I have it right that there are even more of those bonds waiting out there? That's right. Those were only the bonds that we had in our safe deposit boxes. There's a whole lot of others that we're not aware of that maybe been lost, maybe uh, grandparents had it and, and children or grandchildren didn't know they had it. And so we're continuing the effort working with U.S. Treasury to uh, say for those that they're aware of that have not been cashed yet, let's turn those over as well so that we can help get that back in people's hands. This is, this is one of those things that we really think is important because it, as we were going through the, the bonds that we had, some of them dated back to World War I, and they, they were kind of unique history to look at, you know, some of the, the victory in Europe, VE Day and VJ bonds that people had, had saved and bought up to help, help support the country. So, so why is it? It's, it's a ton of cash. So why is it that these people aren't claiming it? Well, sometimes it happens that, you know, grandparents, I mean, you know, older generations in particular through the years haven't necessarily shared their finances as much as we might think is important now to, to share with our kids or, or sitting down and talk with our, our parents and, uh, about the finances. So uh, now that the, these things are coming to light, we're, we're trying to, to promote the process, make sure that people are aware that uh, there's money out there that belongs to them. We want to get it back in their hands so that they have it. So if I'm one of those people, what do I do? Go to, go to our website, it's the easiest way, kansascash.com, which is all one word, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and search up your name, search up your parents' name, grandparents, aunts and uncles, and, and see if we, can, uh, if we have any money that belongs to you. If, in a nutshell, if you could say what this means for the state and the residents, what would you say? I think the biggest thing is helping people have done their patriotic duty to buy the bonds, to, to loan the government, to the, or loan the money to the government, and we want to make sure that we get their money back so that they have it for whatever they want. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks All for right. being here. Thank you, Nancy. And thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time.